if m, r, x, and y are positive, is the ratio of m to r equal to the ratio of x to y? So they are asking is m over r equal to x over y? And this is our question. Uh, so if I want to try and rephrase my question at all, is there anything I can do here? So if I want to get rid of my fractions, I can cross multiply here. And so uh, the only thing you have to remember is remember, when I'm manipulating my question here, this is not given information. So asking me is m over r equal to x over y, that is the same thing as asking me is m times y equal to x over r? Question mark. So uh, in my statements, I can look for either of these formats. Uh, to try to get my answer. So statement one, the ratio of m to y is equal to the ratio of x to r. So this is telling me m over y is equal to x over r. So uh, can I get either of these things from here? So uh, if I were to try and cross multiply, I would get what m times r is equal to x times y, uh, does that match any of these? No, uh, so this doesn't necessarily mean this isn't sufficient to say no, because it's still possible, uh, especially if my m or my x is equal to zero. Uh, so it's still possible they're equal to each other, but uh, they don't necessarily have to be equal to each other. So this is insufficient. The ratio of uh, m plus x to r plus y is equal to the ratio of x to y. So this is the second statement. So if I want to do something similar, uh, cross multiply. So that is telling me what m plus x times y is equal to r plus y times x. So if I want to fully simplify this, I probably should distribute uh, these guys out. So this is telling me my plus xy is equal to rx plus xy. So what does this mean? So my xy is actually cancel out here. Uh, and I'm left with just my is equal to rx or same as xr. So my question is asking is my equal to xr? Statement 2 is telling me my is equal to xr therefore that is sufficient b.